having an awesome weekend. I just wanted to do a quick weekend vlog for you guys. I kind of like doing vlogs on a weekend and I hope that you guys like them as well. So just a few quick updates on cool stuff that's arrived through the post. And then on to a question that I have for you guys later on in the video. So as you guys probably know, uh, we, we kind of like collecting Pokemon plushies as you can probably see up here. And the great thing about ordering Pokemon plushies is you tend to order them from like Japan and China and Korea and you do it weeks and weeks ago and you forget that you've ordered them because they take so long to ship. But that's good because that's part of the surprise. So I ordered some stuff weeks ago, I had totally forgotten that I'd done it. And then through the post this week I got two more Pokemon plushies which I'm going to show to you guys. First of all, can we just talk about how cute this Pokemon t-shirt is? I actually got this on like a flash sale on a Spanish site. I was just like, oh my god, these are the cutest thing ever. They were like half price. So I ordered one for myself and I ordered one from Ali. We're gonna try and get to wear them on the same day as me. And they are just like this cute little like kitten kind of Pikachu. And they were just the cutest thing ever. I was like, I have to have that in my life. So that's why I'm wearing this super awesome Pokemon t-shirt for this video. So on to what I've ordered. As you probably know, I'm a big fan of Eevee and Evolutions. My favourite Eevee Evolution is, of course, if you watch my previous videos, it's got to be Jolteon. We got an awesome plush of Jolteon when we went to New York. Uh, so this is actually from the Pokemon Centre. This, this is official merchandise. This one is the real deal. And he's super cute! And Jolteon kind of became my favourite Pokemon when I played Soul Silver and I grinded and grinded and grinded in the game centre, I think it's called. It's basically where you play the most annoying but addictive game of all time, which is called Voltorb Flip, where essentially you have to play like this game board and flip cards and hope that you don't get uh, a Voltorb underneath. And there's numbers on the side which help you work it out. But it's, it's kind of half skill, but then half chance. Like, a lot of it is chance-based, which makes it the most annoying thing ever. Because you can be on, like, level 9 and, like, getting some serious coin. <laughs> serious coin. Um, and then, all of a sudden, a Voltar will pop up and it will say you're back to level 1. And that part's random as well. Like, you don't know what level you're going to go on. So, I was playing it and I was grinding it out and I finally, finally unlocked Thunderbolt. Taught it to my little Jolteon. And because Jolteon's so fast, and my Jolteon also had a really good special attack, like this guy just killed the Elite Four. Like he was, he was awesome. He's definitely my favourite little Pokemon, and he's so cute. Look at him, yes. So Jolteon definitely wins my favourite evolution, but I still want to collect as many evolution plushies as I can, especially my second favourite evolution, which I have now got a plushie of. So first of all, first of all, going back a bit, the first plushie that arrived through the post was. My Eevee plushie. So this guy is super cute. Look at him with his little fairy scarf. As you can probably tell, this one isn't really official merchandise. Like his scarf's a little funny, and this is the worst part. His tail is yellow. Why is his tail yellow? Why are they not the same color? That's super annoying. However, he is. He's really cute. Like one ear is like hanging this way. The other one's kind of lost out back. Like this one's lost entirely. But he's still really cute, so he's definitely going to go on Pokemon shelf. The second evolution that I got is my second favourite evolution, which is Umbreon. So I think Umbreon is a seriously cool looking Pokemon, especially, especially if you get him as a shiny, because all these yellow bits here uh, turn to like this neon blue colour, and he just looks badass. He looks so badass. So I really want to get a shiny Umbreon in uh, Pearl, which I'm playing at the moment. But I thought I would get him as a little plushie in the meantime. So here are the two uh, Pokemon plushies that we're going to be adding to the shelf collection behind me very soon. So just an update on Pearl. I know that we've been tweeting out a little bit about Pearl, but if you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably haven't seen that stuff. So I just wanted to share where I am in Pokemon Pearl. So we played Heart Gold and Soul Silver last time, and this time I'm playing Pearl. And I'm just going to show you my squad quickly. Hopefully you can see that. Last game I just kind of went for the Pokemon that I thought was the strongest. So I had like a few legendaries in there, like Lugia was awesome. I had my Jolts obviously and I had the red shiny Gyarados. This game I'm less doing it about the most powerful Pokemon, I'm more just making it a little bit more challenging. Which means it is taking me a long time to play because I like all my squad to be the same level. Uh, whereas I think the way Alia plays it is he blasts through the game. He tends to have one super strong Pokemon. 
Um, and then he's onto shiny hunting now, which I'm a little bit jealous of. But I've also had some issues with my game freezing, so that's put me back a lot. And I just don't get quite as much time to play. So this squad that I have this time is based more on, I don't know, they're a little bit more random. So I've got Inferno because he's my starter. I really like him though. Um, I've also got Star Raptor, who's basically the Pidgey equivalent in this game. So you can catch him quite fairly, fairly early on. And he's actually really good. Like, so I'm quite happy that I grinded him out a little bit. I'm also using Para... I cannot pronounce this dude's name. Pachirisu? Pachirisu. Who I'm basically using because he's so cute. He's like this little cute squirrel thing. However, he has the worst attack and special attack I think I've ever seen. It's shocking. However, it's actually quite rewarding playing with a Pokemon that's not necessarily got the best stats and then just giving it a go and he's doing pretty good. Like, um, I, he's, he's definitely earned his place as well. I also have a Gyarados. Like, Gyarados is definitely my top five. I love Gyarados. The red Gyarados in Heart Gold, who's a shiny, and then this time I've just got a regular blue Gyarados, which technically, technically, means I'm not playing with the same Pokemon. So I think I think that's okay. I think that's allowed. I've also got Alakazam, which was traded over um, from a random guy in a little store, because Alakazam is a beast. And then finally, I've got Bunnery, who's kind of my little HM dude in the squad. I know that's quite fun to do. And when I get to Elite Four, I am switching out for Gengar. Sorry about that, Bunnery, but... I was gonna grind him out, he just, he just wasn't good enough, there was no redeeming qualities for me with Venery. So that's where I am on Pearl, once I get myself a shiny Umber on, I'm definitely gonna show you guys, I really wanna get that. So the other thing that we've been uh, receiving through the post that Ali's actually been collecting, well, we're both pretty big Nintendo fans, like I think Ali's the biggest Nintendo fanboy I've ever known, and I grew up on Nintendo, on N64, on Super Nintendo, which is probably showing my age a little bit. And also uh, on, on Game Boy Color, which was like my like surgically attached to my hands as a child. Um, so we're both big Nintendo fans, so it's kind of surprising that Amiibos didn't show up a little bit sooner. But um, Ali has been collecting Amiibos, and um, they're really, really cute. We've got some of the guys from Smash, we've got some Pokemon in there as well. So we've got um, a Charizard and a Pikachu, we've got some really cool little Marios, and also there's a little Zelda in there as well. However, my favourite of all the Amiibos are definitely got to be the two Smash characters that Ali and I play as when we play Smash together and we're in the same team. So those characters are Lucina and Mar, and um, they're both from the same series. And I really like the character design, I really like playing as Lucina, I usually make her the variation where she's got green hair just so she stands out and also looks pretty cool. Um, and we play together in like a squad with these two guys and we rock, we rock, we play together. Mainly because Ali's really good and I'm really average, but if you combine the two, we're quite good. Basically Ali played this a lot when he was uh, a bit younger, whereas it just didn't exist in my sphere. I don't know why I never played Smash, but it just wasn't the game I played as a kid. So now on to what the chunk, like the main point of this video is which is to ask you guys what game you want me to play next. So I feel like I'm getting quite close to the end of Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'm really enjoying it. I love I love the way the series has been reimagined. I think Lara Croft looks amazing. I think she's a much more interesting and in-depth character. And I've really enjoyed the game. And I'm definitely getting quite close to the end, I feel. And you guys are telling me in the comments I am too. So I need to know what game you guys want me to play next. If you've got some suggestions, please leave them below. If it's kind of a fun or exciting game, or a game with twists, I'd be up for that. I'd, I'd be totally up for that. Um, scary games, I mean, you can suggest them. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready for a scary game yet, but I'll definitely give it a look in. And then any kind of short, sort of one episode games as well, I'd really like to give some of those a try. Somebody actually left a really good suggestion for a game in the comments, which I checked out for just five minutes. Um, but it's like a stickman game, and you started off in a prison cell, and you had to escape the prison cell and it was like a choice based one and it had loads of throwbacks to other games so there was like Skyrim references in there and that kind of thing and I only played it for 5 minutes because I was like this is so good that I'm going to make a video out of it I didn't want to spoil anything for myself and I wanted all my reactions to the game to be quite genuine and then I totally forgot what game it was so if you guys have any idea what game that could be please let me know in the comments below so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like the new plushies and they will definitely be behind me at some point very soon. Hope you have an awesome weekend guys and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!